Sergeant Joe Gamaldi is the National Vice President of the Fraternal Order of Police. We want to welcome Joe back to the program again. And Joe, uh, I hear that number, it's staggering. 60 this year, not the end of the year yet. God forbid there could be more in the next few weeks. Holidays always get wild with people. Um, this is a disgrace as far as I'm concerned. Your thoughts? I mean, it's absolutely horrible, Dan. And just to really understand the scope of just how bad it is, there's a police officer shot in this country one every 25 hours. And I guarantee you're not hearing that on the media right now. And we've had 314 police officers shot in this country this year. That is a 43% increase since 2018. And it's the highest we've ever seen it since we started tracking this several years ago. I mean, I, I can't put into words just how bad it is. Ambush attacks are up 120%, 126% this year over last. We've had 60 officers murdered by gunfire, as you talked talked about and I talk to officers every single day and the fact of the matter is we're sick and tired of this crap we're walking around with targets on our backs and it's got to stop yeah and what's fueling it and making it okay with some are radical liberals in charge it's not just the wackos in the street screaming defund police and attacking you that are part of uh, Antifa or BLM or they're just scumbags. No, you've got people in elected positions in the state and federal offices that are out there acting like civil disobedience and fighting back against cops is okay with them. You're giving the bad you know, guys a green flag. You know, the truth is there is a toxic cocktail that is being shoved down the throats of law-abiding Americans across this country right now. And it involves rogue prosecutors who are willing to give sweetheart deals to violent criminals. Yep. Larry Krasner in Philadelphia is the worst. He had the audacity to go on the news the other day and gaslight the public to say, Philadelphia is as safe as it ever was. Meanwhile, they have the highest recorded murders ever in Philadelphia. You combine that with bail reform, which has been an unmitigated disaster everywhere it's been tried. You know the monster who committed the massacre at the Christmas parade? You know, the, the woke media is trying to convince you that was just an accident. That massacre that occurred was done by somebody who was out on a low bond and he was a repeat violent felon yeah. and they kept letting him out over and over again. So you combine those things along with demonizing law enforcement and this toxic cocktail has led to record murders across this country. We had 20,000 murders in 2020, which is the highest we saw since the 1990s. And in 2021, we're outpacing this. This is not sustainable. We need law and order in this country if we want to be a civilized community. Yes, that's it. That's the best phrase. We're supposed to be a country of laws and law and order. But some are quickly forgetting that. Joe, I'll just end with this with you. Uh, for folks who actually support and back the badge, and again, I'm not making excuses for any of the bad cops out there, but every profession's got bad people in it. I'm talking about the tens of thousands of cops out there that are putting on that badge and gun every day and walking that beat and keeping their community and neighborhood safe. What should we do for them, for us law-abiding citizens who actually follow the friggin' laws? You know, I'll tell you two things, Dan. If you see a police officer on the street, just thank them. You have no idea what that means to us. It makes our day. And second, get involved locally in politics. Yeah. Volunteer on campaigns. Make sure you vote. Research the candidates in your area. If there are candidates right now that are not standing on a platform of law and order, vote their asses out because we are at a crossroads in this country, Dan, and we can decide to go the law and order route or we can go chaos and anarchy. And I think I know which one Americans want, but we got to speak up and we got to fight for it. Yeah. Sorry, I don't want a therapist or a counselor showing up some guys holding a gun to my head. I want some cops, some badasses that are trained and a SWAT team ready to go to take the bad guy out. That's the way I look at it. Joe Camaldi, appreciate you, brother. Sergeant, National Vice President of the Fraternal Order of Police. Be safe out there. Take care of yourself. Thank you, Dan. Thanks for having me on.